Hey, how's it going? So today we are going to be talking about a couple of different stocks that I'm going to be buying while the market is down. So in case you're not too aware, the market obviously has been taking quite a tumble and sometimes that can give us some great opportunities to buy in some different stocks. But what I'm going to do today is actually really talk about some of the growth stocks that I've been looking at and wanted to get into and obviously is now a perfect time to do so. Uh, but before we get into that, just always keep in mind that even though I'm going to talk about these, kind of give a little bit of my insight, always do extra research when it comes to picking stocks. You don't want to just go off of what somebody says here on YouTube or any other platform. So just do that extra research. But in case you are new to this channel, my name is Dennis and we talk about apps and services that really help you build wealth. Um, so today, like I said, we're going to be using Robinhood actually to go through the process and look at these different funds. Now, I have access to Robinhood fractional shares, which is really cool because that allows me to buy into companies. Instead of at the full share price, I can just buy it at whatever dollar amount I currently have. And so for me, this is really advantageous because I like getting started with small amounts and then kind of building up as I go along. Now, my main platform I use is actually M1 Finance. Um, so I have tons of videos and where my portfolio is um, on my actual YouTube account. You guys can check those out. But what we're gonna do is actually load up the Robinhood app here. And I'm gonna kinda just go over some stuff with you guys. So first and foremost, like I mentioned here, you can see the portfolio is down almost 11.79% for the day. Um, definitely taking a huge tumble with all you know the world events that are going on. Uh, if we go for the week, it's down about 15.62. And then for the month, it's technically up a dollar or 1.96%, but that's only because I actually got a free stock of Facebook. So that skewed everything pretty wild there. So just over the last uh, day in the last week is kind of what we're looking at here. But that gives me some opportunity to go ahead and maybe start buying into some companies that I wanted to get into uh, for growth opportunities, because I'm mainly a long-term investor. I love dividend investing. And that's what my M1 finance portfolio is literally all about is really just focusing mostly on the dividend side. Um, but with my Robin hood, I'm kind of taking a different approach and just kind of going forward on the more long-term growth opportunities, uh, that don't really pay out dividends. And so I'm okay with that here on the platform. Um, just kind of a quick brief up. If you guys haven't been following the channel, um, currently, I have 10 stocks in Ford, um, 14 shares in NRZ, uh, which I know is not a growth stock, but keep in mind, I'm going to get dividends to reinvest those now. Um, and then I have one share of Microsoft, one share of VOOG, which is a growth fund. Um, then I have a couple free stocks that I got. Um, I do have uh, Space, which is the um, Virgin Galactic, which is pretty cool. Um, that's definitely going to be hopefully something long term. And then, like I mentioned, I got the Facebook one entirely for free. So I am definitely going to keep it. Um, I think it's a pretty awesome stock to have. But we're going to go through my watch list. Um, like I mentioned, I'm going to be talking about a couple different stocks that I am interested in getting started with. Um, I don't have a position in some of these already, but some of the other ones I have actually in my M1 finance portfolio. So I'll break those down as I go through this list so you guys can see everything here. So I'm just kind of going through the watch list here. So the first one that I'm like really excited to add over here is going to be Domino's. Now, I know this is kind of strange because it's really all like, you know, just one subject of that um, of that portfolio. So they don't really have anything else coming for them except for, you know, their pizza. Um, there's other brands like Yum, which we'll be talking about, which has a diverse portfolio of different types of foods. Um, so it makes it a little bit nicer, but I don't know, something about Domino's, I've loved their their process, everything that they've been doing. Um, they've looked like a pretty solid company. Uh, their PE ratio is a little, a little up there for me, but um, I think that they're gonna have some more long-term growth over time. Um, and right now, for me personally, if you look at their earnings, uh, their earnings is actually even higher than what they expected. So I think they have even more room to grow in the market. Um, for me personally, the way I kind of see this is um, a lot of times if we end up going into, you know, a slowdown in the market overall, or even the economy, I should say, um, a lot of times there's companies that take advantage of that in which ways possible. So that way they can come out of those recessions way ahead. And I think Domino's is poised um, for that position because I know they focus a lot on the technology side of things. So I think they're gonna come out way ahead if we do end up slowing down in the economy. I don't hope that's the case, but um, that's that can always be a thing. So I definitely am going to be buying a small portion here on Robinhood. Um, I'm not gonna be buying a whole share because again, I'm doing fractional shares. So I'll be doing that. 
And then the next one I wanted to do is also in the food category, and this is Chipotle. So I've always wanted to kind of get into Chipotle here, and I think it's a good time to be able to do so. Um, over the last month, they are down 38.66%. Um, I think the company has some really interesting things that are going on. I know they're talking a lot more about doing some drive-throughs, um, really focusing on technology as well. I've been seeing a big trend on this whole idea that these food companies are starting to become somewhat of a technology company first and foremost, and then a food company second. And every single company that I pay attention to that is focusing on the technology side seems to be doing more um, when it comes to their growth and companies that are just focusing on the food side, which is kind of weird, right? You think that a food company should focus on the food first, but I feel like technology is obviously a great way to kind of leap forward against their competition as well. So that was the second one right over there. And then, I mean, there's a lot of good growth stocks that are um, available right now because of the way the market is, but so far these are the ones that I'm really into. Uh, this one again, I didn't actually plan this to all be food stuff, uh, but this is kind of pretty much what it is. Um, Luck and Coffee, um, this one's going to be an interesting one. Uh, this is very spectacle, uh, something that, you know, obviously doesn't have a long track record because if we go, I think they've only been around since May of 2019, so not even a full year. But this company is kind of like the Starbucks of China and there's a good opportunity for some really great growth over the next couple of years. So this one might be an opportunity. This one won't let me do fractional share, so I would actually have to buy this at a full share on Robinhood. But overall, this one might be a good opportunity for a purchase. So we will see how that goes long term. Um, as of course, growth stocks are you know, potentially something that you want to hold on for a while so that way you have all of that growth. Now, really quick, if you are getting some value out of this video, make sure you hit that like button down below. Helps out the channel so I can continue to make content just like this. Um, and then next up I'm going to have is actually the Yum brand. So I was kind of mentioning that literally this is all food, uh, wasn't intentional in any sort of way, but it just kind of maybe happens to be the case. Everybody always has to be eating. So there's a lot of great opportunities. So they are currently down, yeah, for the last month, 32.96%. So they've definitely taken a hit. Um, they This one does actually pay out dividends. Um, but again, because I'm focusing on growth with the Robinhood portfolio, I'm not really concerned, although it is just a nice extra, extra bonus. Um, I like the PE ratio. And uh, this one right here has its Taco Bell, Pizza Hut, as well as, um, I'm like losing my brain here. There's one more on here, let's see if it goes down here, if it tells me. Uh, KFC, that's what it was, yeah. And it was also KFC, so it's all three of those. So there's a good diversity of types of food. Um, like I mentioned, Domino's is just the pizza where this Yum brand is, it has pizza, it has um, uh, chicken wings, and then it has tacos. Um, or chicken, not chicken wings, but just chicken. So overall, this one's a really solid company as well, um, or overall stock. Uh, I'm interested in getting into this. Again, I'm gonna do fractional pieces for this one um, just because I'm gonna get started with smaller amounts with all of these. So, so far we have the Yum brand. We have LK, which is Luckin Coffee. Um, and then where are the other ones I already went over? Uh, we have Domino's and then we also have Chipotle. So four so far are all the foods, but the last one is going to be, in, where was it, Ross. So Ross is a awesome uh, stock. I actually have ownership in this in my M1 finance portfolio. Um, I believe in the company. I love shopping there. Um, half my house is probably just decor from Ross itself. Uh, they've taken a huge, huge hit over the last couple of months here. So if we take a look here, um, they are down 36.4% as well. Uh, they do pay out a dividend, but again, not a big deal when it's focusing on the growth opportunity. So I feel like for them, they're going to definitely be able to get back to that 120, I think it was like, yeah, $123 uh, marker and then some. And also too, usually during economic downturns, if that ends up happening, then Ross will be a great place for a lot of people to shop because it'll help them save money. Um, like I mentioned, I have this in my M1 portfolio, but I'm probably gonna be buying some also here on this fund because I wanna focus on that growth opportunity. I think it's gonna have some really good ways to uh, to be able to expand and, and grow on there too. So right now, uh, that is gonna be the fifth company. Like I mentioned, there's a couple other really, really solid companies, but if we just kind of go and look right now, I wanted to go take a look at Amazon. Where are we at here with Amazon? Let me 
about somewhere down here. So if we take a look at Amazon, for example, as well too, I believe in Amazon, have a little bit in my M1 uh, portfolio, but here they're also down 20% as well. So if you believe in that company and know that, um, you know, there's a possibility that it's gonna go back up uh, to its, uh, you know, 52 week high, uh, you know, there's a great opportunity to be buying. Uh, obviously, the way I see this is that I'm buying a company at a 20% discount, um, knowing that that is going to go back up. But I think the hard part for most people is the idea that, well, if I buy now and the market continues to drop even further, am I losing the opportunity to buy even cheaper? Um, they, they usually refer to that as like catching a falling knife. And for me personally, I just consistently invest regardless because one, I'm in it for a long term. Um, even with these growth stocks, I'm gonna be in most of these for a very long term unless something crazy happens like the Tesla stock for a while where it just like shot up like crazy. I sold my position in that temporarily and then rebought back in because that's not very common for stocks to blow up like that. But uh, one thing I do wanna consider as well too is that just because I buy a stock now and it drops even further and I believe in that company, I believe where it's gonna go, how it's gonna head up in the future, I'm just gonna still buy even more of it even as the market goes down. So I'm not gonna sit here and try to time it and say, okay, I'm gonna wait till it hits the very bottom and then it starts coming back up because who knows, you could be losing out on opportunities to, to make money because the market, at least as of this recording, there's been days where it goes down 6%, goes up 7% the next day, it goes down 8% one day and goes up 9% the next. So it's been fluctuating like crazy. And I think it'd be too hard to be timing the market, especially if you're a long-term investor. At the end of the day, it wouldn't matter as much if you're buying it now or if you buy it 5% less because at the end of the day, you're still getting that savings and then being able to go back up to where the 52 week high were and maybe even hopefully pass that as well. Um, could take you know a couple of months, even take a year or two to reach back those highs. But if again, you're buying as it goes back up too, that's as well. That's actually just as good. Um, but it's really interesting because I've talked to people and they have this whole idea that, you know, while the market's going up, people are more than okay to buy while it's rising up. But for some reason, while the stocks are going down, we have a really hard time going that same route where we're still investing as it's going down. So hopefully that's not the case with you guys. Hopefully you are, you know, excited to be buying at this opportunity because it doesn't come around as often with something like this. So if you can take advantage, um, obviously there's a lot of disadvantages going on right now with, like I said, all world events. So, you know, take it where you can. Um, I think there's even more opportunities for some really awesome growth stocks. Like I said, um, Amazon is another one. Um, there's also, you know, Apple, if you look at Apple, where are they down? They're down 23% for the, for the last month. Um, so, you know, there's another opportunity there for you as well. So the ones that I mentioned earlier, the top five, those are probably the, gonna be the ones I'm gonna be buying today. Um, just to add to this new portfolio growth. Um, but then there's some other really good ones too. So if you have any growth opportunity stocks that you're thinking of, let me know in the comments down below. Um, I'd be interested to hear from you guys um, if there's any certain ones that maybe you prefer over others um, or what you think of the top five that I'm gonna be buying into if you have any you know pros and cons on them because obviously a lot of stocks have pros and cons on them. But um, you know, if we take a quick look here, uh, Disney is also down 32% as well. So Disney's a pretty crazy awesome buy. Um, and then I also know that a lot of people are talking about looking at the travel stocks, you know, something like, you know, a lot of the cruises or airlines because they're gonna be affected pretty heavily. And I think, um, if I'm not mistaken, CCL Carnival has taken a massive hit. So in the last three months, they are down almost 70% um, on the stock. So yeah, the high was 57.69 in the last 52 weeks and they're down to 14.88. Um, they also pay out a dividend, but I am pretty sure they're gonna cut that, um, obviously to try to keep afloat. Um, but overall, you know, that's an opportunity for people. Uh, there's also a lot of airlines that are taking a huge hit right now too. So it just really depends on, you know, what you can take as far as risk because something like, you know, like those ones like that we were just looking at the cruises cruises can be a really big hit because there's a couple different ones out there there's like norwegian there's um a few others but 
maybe one of them doesn't survive this whole situation and they go under so you lose a lot of value in that stock but if you have another one that goes all the way back up in value and then some then obviously you get a lot of that growth as well so there's that risk factor of do you want to take those risks it could take a while before these stocks ever come back but if you're in it for the long term it doesn't matter because you'll be good there and if you diversify that's even better. That's why it's so great to have multiple stocks from different sectors because then it helps diversify your portfolio. Um, you know, if something doesn't work out, like for example, if you got the Norwegian cruise line and the um, Carnival cruise line, uh, if you got both of those stocks and one of them did very well, the other one either stayed put or didn't do well and maybe went out, um, there's a good chance that maybe you will still have more of a positive swing than you would on the negative side. So just different things to consider when it uh, when it comes to looking at certain opportunities. Um, let's see where American Airlines is really quick. American Airlines. So American Airlines right now over the last three months is down 44%. Um, so that's a huge hit on them as well. Again, you know, that's risk. You know, do you think they're going to be around? Do you think that they're going to be able to survive this? Maybe sometimes they might get merged with other companies. Um, so your stock goes over there with that company, depending on how that works um, with their with their uh, purchasing or buyouts. Uh, but overall, different risks for different people. If this is something that you're like, whoa, this is too risky for me, don't feel bad about going, not going into the market like that. Um, but just something to keep in mind if you are wanting to take advantage of an opportunity, like I said, that doesn't come often um, and make more. Because I think they say that more millionaires come out of recessions than go into them. Um, not saying that this is a recession, but this is an opportunity for people to be buying more into the market and then coming out ahead because they have more ownership in these companies and have more shares. So that way, when everything comes back, um, that growth is just going to be exponential at that point, too. So hopefully that works out for everybody. Um, again, let me know in the comments uh, which stock is going to be the one that maybe you're going to be going with over the next couple of weeks based off of everything that's going on in the market. Now, if you're interested in checking out my M1 finance portfolio and seeing what I'm invested in there and how that portfolio is doing, check out my video right over here. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.